Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Today, we're gonna be baking some hamburgers and I wanna bring y'all along with me. I'm in the kitchen with Tanasia. Hey y'all. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna need you to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, share my video, and put them post notification bells on. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing before you leave. All right y'all, let's get right into this. And all right, my ingredients, I have some sliced up onions and some mushrooms. We're gonna saute that in the pan and we're gonna put that on the top of our burgers. Have some ground beef, of course, even though I did want some turkey burgers today, but we're gonna do the ground beef. And the seasons we're gonna be using, some chili powder, garlic salt, onion powder, and some red pepper, ground red pepper. Also, we're gonna Use some butter, that's for the buns. We're gonna toast that up on the stove. We have some lettuce, and we have two types of cheese. All right, we'll be back with our next step. All right, y'all, our next step, we're about to saute these onions and mushroom and some olive oil. That's enough. Yeah, that's about enough. And also, off camera, we did rough chop these mushrooms because they were were a little bigger than I thought they was. And also I forgot to mention, we're gonna be using some black pepper. That's the case to get the black pepper. And I'm gonna be using some of this poppy seasoning. And that season they have all types of different seasonings in there. So I'm gonna add some of that up in there. Yeah y'all this gonna be so good. And it's just the way we want our burgers today. Like I said, I hope all y'all having a good day. Our day went pretty good. I'm gonna hop on camera and show this meal to y'all. We actually haven't had burgers in a while. So we decided that we're gonna make our own. All right. We're gonna let this cook for a few minutes until it get a lot more sauce. And while this is on the stove, we're gonna season the ground beef. All right, while seasoning my burgers, I try not to over season my meat. Add a little of that poppy seasoning. Some black pepper. And to your meat, whatever meat you use, you can use whatever favorite season as you like. I'm trying not to put too much black pepper since Tanaja don't like too much black pepper. Cause it was up to me, I put extra pepper, honestly. That's some garlic salt. Some ground red pepper for a little spice. Cause y'all know for some reason, a little spice always make it taste better. Some garlic powder. All right, and that's about it. And I'm gonna have Tanasia mix it up and she's gonna do the patties. All right, she said she's doing a test patty first. You don't think it should be a little bigger since the, the buns are bigger? about our burgers earlier yeah, they'd be like balls like they turn into balls like this okay she's gonna show me the proper way to make them all right that's the first one and our hands are clean that's always the first thing we do before we start cooking other than making sure the kitchen is all the way clean. And we do clean up as we go along. That way, by the time we get finished cooking, the kitchen is already clean. So that's a real good tip for anybody that's in the kitchen cooking. Always make sure your kitchen is clean and always make sure your hands are clean. Right, and this is where we at. Smell them real good. Alright. Alright. 
We have to get the pan a little bit to temperature. All right. She actually said she feel more comfortable if we had a thermometer in the kitchen. And actually, she is absolutely right. So I need to invest in one of them. All right, we're just gonna let this cook. We're not gonna touch it. Let it go on the ground on one side, and we'll be back. All right, she's about to go ahead and flip these burgers. Yeah, y'all, it's always a fun experience in the kitchen, especially with your kids. Gonna make some good memories. All right, that's what they look like. And we do have the heat on medium. All right, y'all, we're about to take the first two burgers out. We actually cook these burgers for about four minutes on each side, and that's what they look like. These are patties. We're gonna keep cooking them two at a time, and we'll be back once we're done with all of them. All right, y'all, where we at? We about to start on these fries. Tanasia rinsed these fries off real good, and now she's patting them dry with the paper towel. And after she do that, we are gonna add some flour and some cornstarch to a bowl. We are gonna add some seasoning to it, and then we are gonna fry them up. She seasoned the flour into the fry. She added some cornstarch. Y'all, she over here laughing at me with my bloopers. All right, and on the stove, I have me some cooking oil. I have vegetable oil, and it's already starting to get hot. All right. This is just the way we want our fries today. We want them a little crunchy, a little extra crunchy. All right. Is that all you put in there right now, or you want to add a little more to it? Often, so it won't be too crowded in here. Okay. And that's why I'm more of a baker. Yeah, we're patience. so different in the kitchen. She have a lot more patience than me. That's why we keep on bumping heads in the kitchen. Right, Tanisha? Yeah. That's why she's a baker and I'm, and I'm the cook. She's a baker. Y'all know baking, you need a whole lot more patience, especially when it comes to measuring and stuff like that. So what she doing right now, she just pretty much transferred the fries back to the, the plate, which we need to invest in some more, like cooking racks and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to make a whole list. I'm just sprinkle a little more seasoning on this. All right, then we're gonna head to the grease and get the frying. Yeah, so you're still scared of these and what about it? <laughs> yeah, you think that's enough or more? More. You need more just on crowd the crown um, pot. The reason you don't crowd the pot is because they're not gonna get crispy in the grease. That should be good. All right, this is what the fries looking like. And usually, a lot of people, when they cook fries, they want the fries extra crispy. They double fry it. But this is actually what I do to save me a little time. I just do the fries like this. Let them drain. Then I just put it right back in there like that. All right, and I'm going to let it cook a little longer. And I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is what these fries mm -hmm. look like. You just want to put them in the rack. Got it on some paper towels so we can drain the grease off of them. Ignore that background noise. 
Yep, that's what the fries look like right off the grease. And those are about to be extra good. All right, now I'm about to put the rest of these fries in this grease. let them cook and we'll be back okay so, so we using some brioche buns I put some butter in here and let it get hot so we just gonna toast these and the water yeah, we're only gonna do two at a time we want the fries over there finishing yeah. we got the fries in here and we're just going to toast these. Got to be up in here. Most hot tasks. Yeah. All right. This is what the buns look like after they're toasted. We pretty much just toasted one side of them. We're about to take these last fries out. And when we come back, we're going to assemble the burgers. It's gonna be better than take out. Oh, you want ketchup? Yeah. Yeah, I almost forgot. Almost forgot the ketchup. Just ketchup on top. Oh, that's good. You can just put it right on there. All right, y'all. This is the end result. That's look delicious. Tell me y'all don't want a bite of this burger. That's hers. Can't see the cheese that good, but it's on there. Oh, this looks so good. All right, y'all, about to end this video. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, share this video, and put them post notification bells on. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.